I came across the Akashic Records in 1990, 1991. And of course, it was popularized by Edgar Cayce. And I was reading, uh, actually on the Edgar Cayce website, how it was uh, being described in computer terms, in database terms, that the Akashic Records is like a database that records everything, every conversation, everything that's ever happened, everything has an Akashic Record. And I looked at it and I thought, what they're calling the Akashic Records is the frickin' database. It's the database. So, the whole thing, this reality, this simulation, it's run by AI. The very AI they want to connect to the human brain. Hello? Everything is recorded. Everything about a soul's, quote, incarnation is known because it's on the database. So, if you believe in a certain deity, when you leave the body, AI, in your reality, will produce the deity. A Christian will say, I saw Jesus. A Muslim might say, I saw Muhammad. And you see loved ones. They draw you into the light, the light tunnel. Now, what happens again and again, you read these accounts. They go through the tunnel. And they feel this bliss. Now, what happens with their death experiences is there is this point where they're told, if you cross this, sometimes it symbolizes a wall, sometimes there's an archway, whatever, then you can't go back. But of course, near-death experiences do come back. So they don't cross that line. What is on the other side of that line? Well, if you read the accounts of people under hypnosis in the between-life state, it's another hierarchy where souls are told what to do. It's not a place of freedom. It, it feels more free than this world, but actually, in fact, it's a recycling operation back into this reality. So the tunnel of light is the way to be recycled. Don't go to the light because it's a trap. You deserve the truth, but big tech does not want you to hear it. So we built our own inspired platform on the inspiredchannel.com. To watch the full video and more, just click the link in the video description or the pinned comment.